how do I spawn particles from other particles? Or I guess you could say, how do I create a really simple firework effect inside of Cascade? Well, this is pretty easy, but we need two separate emitters so that we can tell one emitter to spawn particles from the location of the first emitter's particles. So what I'm going to do is take my existing sprite emitter, right-click on it. Underneath the emitter uh, in the pop-up list, we'll grab a duplicate emitter. And we need to name these two particles uh, emitters. It's going to make things a little easier if they can refer to each other by some sort of name. So we'll take the emitter on the left, <clears throat> excuse me, and we'll call this blue emitter... And then the one over here on the right, I will call red emitter. Okay, now that's only part of it. Right now they're both emitting the same color of particle, which doesn't really help much. Uh, let's change initial color for the one on the right to 1 and 0.2 and 0.2. So one is emitting red particles, the other is emitting blue particles, which we can see here. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is add... On over to our uh, red emitter. I guess I should kind of outline what I'm trying to do here. I want the red particles to emit from the location of the blue particles. So let's right click over here on the red emitter and I'll come down to location and we're going to grab emitter initial location. So it's so actually spelled emitter init loc. <laughs> we'll click on that. Now, if we select this module, we can come down and change some of its properties. The first thing is emitter name. This is basically asking from what emitter do you want to spawn the particles? And we want to bring these out from blue emitter. And it's already actually working, but it's a little hard to tell. So before I do anything else, we're going to change some things around here. I'm going to come back over to my blue emitter and right click and let's drop on a location sphere. Now let's change some properties in here. So I know I'm doing a lot of things at once here, but it's just a way to kind of illustrate what's going on. I'm going to switch on velocity, and I'm going to increase the velocity by five times. So you can see that's really pushing the particles out. Uh, let's also kill off my initial velocity on my red particles just for now. So boom, and at least uh, just for the time being. And let's also increase their spawn rate. So I'm going to select the red emitter, scroll down under my required module, and let's set this up to about 300 and now you can see that we are spawning particles, red particles, from the blue particles. It becomes a little easier to kind of tell what's going on. Okay, back over here in the emitter initial location. First off, we have selection method, which really only has two values, either random or sequential. Random is going to randomly emit particles from basically random numbered uh, particles in the blue emitter. So how does this work? We're going to randomly emit a particle from some particle over in the blue system. There's no real order to it. If you set this over to sequential, the first particle of our red emitter system is going to emit from the first particle of our blue emitter system. The second particle of the red emitter system will emit from the second particle of the blue emitter system. And once it finally runs out of particles, it'll just wrap back around. So you can kind of see the, the difference in effect uh, better than you can with an explanation. Here you see some kind of random breaking in the trails coming out. And here they start off extremely rigid. And then you kind of start to see breakings as it wraps back around. So we'll go ahead and leave that at random for now. We can choose to inherit the source velocity, and with this, the red particles are moving right along with the blue particles. If we uh, skip down a little bit, we can change the source velocity scale. So let's set that down to about 0.2. So now the red particles are moving along with the blue particles, but it's scaled back a little bit, so it's not quite as slow. You can also choose to inherit any source rotation that might be in place, and you can change the module editor color. So that is a, a quick look at how you can spawn particles from other particles, which does kind of look like a very simple and cheap firework effect, or it would if we changed how the uh, blue particles were emitting. And that wraps up this How Do I video.